Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Bill Gates, Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Michael Jordan. What do all these names have in common? They're all introverted, just like you, and they've all changed the world. I'm Matthew Pollard, host of the Introverts Edge podcast. The Introverts Edge podcast was designed to create a dialogue around introversion, to stimulate a discussion around our disadvantages, how we overcome those disadvantages, and what we consider our introverts edge. I feel like introverts assume being introverted is bad, and what they need to do is get over it or push through it. It's not about like introversion is bad or good or extrovert is bad. Or good. It's, oh, I need to understand who I am. And then I need to find whether it's techniques or advice or career paths or whatever, which match me. I actually did do Toastmasters because I would turn so red. I, and then I would get really flustered and then I would get stuck in my head and I wouldn't be able to get past it. We're bringing up such horrible memories. I now. did warn you about this show, right? The fact that I got through it and passed it, I can use it as a story about how horrible it was at the beginning and if I can do this, then you can too, right? Being I really is perfect for introverts and I had never considered that. What I learned many years ago, and I've said this for decades, is that a good networker has two ears and one mouth and should use them both proportionately. You should be listening more than you're talking. Well, introverts are great at that. I really truly believe that, that I didn't have anything to prove to anybody anymore. Then I became much more comfortable with, with just being me. And that, that's why I could come across in an interview like this and just be me. I really don't give it a damn because you, you're not gonna catch me out. I am who I am. Together, we're finally going to confront the stigma around introversion showing that we're not second-class citizens, we're just different and we need to embrace that.